hi it's ivy welcome to my channel um and today this is going to be my list of things i didn't expect with braces some of these things are good and some not so good and obviously everybody's experience is going to be different so you know these things that i've experienced may be very different for you if you're getting braces all right, the first thing I didn't expect, well, I did in a way, was pain and getting into that more specifically. I'm going to do a whole other video on braces pain, so I'll keep this brief. But I knew they were going to hurt, but I didn't expect it to be as bad as it was slash is. And I figured it would get better. And in some ways it does, but at the same time, I feel like it never really goes away and it just flares up sometimes. And you get used to it i will say that you get very used to it but um yeah the pain with the braces is real so that's a brief thing of pain the pain is real another good one i didn't expect to happen was well i did expect to happen i thought my voice might change like and lisp a little bit because i had liners before and they made my voice get a little bit of a lisp um, and in general, that hasn't happened. There's a couple words maybe that I'll have trouble with, but in general, my voice is, it's, my voice is the same, which has been really nice. I did not want my voice to change, um, or to lisp, and I haven't had to deal with that. So that was a positive. Um, another positive was appearance. I was really worried when I got them on, like how I was going to look with them. I was bracing myself to hate the way I looked and actually my initial reaction when I saw them was oh my gosh they're so cute so that was a really positive thing and since having them like I'm used to them and I do think they're cute obviously I still want to get them off it really hasn't been a big issue for me it took me a little while to get used to them and then like I was fine and felt comfortable with them so it's really it's not a big deal um eating I'll do a separate video on eating as well, but eating is a big, big struggle. I eat very, very differently with braces than I did without them. One particularly notable thing is eating pretty much everything with a knife and fork just because it's easier sometimes. Um, and also with eating, your bite is shifting constantly, especially mine. I mean, it depends on how your bite is already, but my bite is, was already so bad and... But I was used to it. It was normal to me, so it felt right. Whereas now it's all over the place and shifts constantly. Eating is a big, big struggle. The only good thing with that, I suppose, is that in general I haven't really missed any, like, foods. Because obviously there's certain things you can't eat with braces. Um, but I really don't miss them. I got rid of, like, I ate all my um, forbidden foods right before I got the braces. And... I haven't missed them too much. There's a few things I really miss, but in general, it hasn't been too bad. Your eating habits will change a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and I knew they would change, but I didn't know it would be quite so drastic. Um, bands falling off. Now, luckily, fingers crossed, I have like all my metal parts have stayed in place, but every so often, I, I guess I thought that if I followed the rules and like, you know, was a good patient, things would stay in place. But sometimes even if you do everything right, things can go wrong. In the back of my mouth, I knocked off two of my colors yesterday just from cleaning my teeth. Um, thankfully, they said I didn't have to go in for that. But um, yeah, things can go wrong. I knock my colors off all the time. Usually I can get them back on, but this time I'm pretty sure they went down the sink. So there's not much I can do with that. Um... But yeah, things can go wrong even if you follow directions and are good. Tooth sensitivity. Thankfully, this didn't last too long. But my teeth became very, very sensitive to hot and cold foods. Like to the point where even just drinking water, even if it was just kind of cool and not like cold, would hurt my teeth. They were so sensitive for a little while. Um, thankfully, it didn't last long. And I know not everyone experiences that. But that was something I didn't expect. And... It was a different kind of pain than the rest of, than just the tooth movement was not fun. Not fun at all. Makes it harder to eat too. Um, a good thing I didn't expect was they're actually easier to clean than I would think. Now this took me a little while to get used to. Um, 
especially when they're hurting but once that settles down a bit and you've had them a while like after a couple weeks really and certainly by the end of the first month I kind of had my routine down and I knew exactly how to keep them clean and what to do a bad one I did not expect was bleeding gums my gums bleed constantly and it doesn't matter how clean your teeth are but especially when you first get them on or when you get them tightened and they really really hurt or sometimes just randomly like just flossing my teeth right now like my whole mouth can fill with blood like you will be spitting up blood from nothing sometimes just from brushing your teeth it's like the whole sink turns red um they hurt it's not pleasant it is not not a fun thing and it's nothing to, i mean it can be hygiene related but like in my case it's not i'm really thorough with cleaning my teeth and they still bleed so much just because your gums become inflamed from all the shifting and stuff and your teeth are very unhappy to be moving and they'll let you know they're unhappy they will most definitely let you know um weight loss this hasn't been a major issue for me but i did lose a little bit of weight since getting them which for some people can be a good thing uh like in my case i did not i don't need to lose weight at all if you want to lose weight or you need to lose weight that can be a great benefit if you don't can be more of a negative because obviously it's going to affect your energy and can affect your health next thing is how fast your teeth will move in some ways i look at them and i'm like oh my gosh they're still so messed up and they still have so far to go but i'm also only two months into this and they're so much straighter than they used to be and i mean for me it's easier because i documented it like i have videos and pictures of when i first got my braces and even before i got them so you can see massive changes like yeah, my bites all screwed up at the Tahans especially. Um, obviously, I still need a, a lot of work and I have a long way to go. But they are so much straighter than they used to be. Um, and it's really cool to see how quickly that happens. The next thing I have on my list is comments. And by that, I mean like other people making comments about your braces. For I've heard other people say that, you know, they got comments all the time. Nobody ever comments on my braces except online and that's like kind of to be expected because I'm talking about them but um in my personal life people don't it, it wasn't something I was overly worried about but you would wonder if people are going to say things or you feel like they're, you have attention being drawn to your mouth nobody's ever said anything to me about it um I mean I'll talk about them with my friends and stuff and if I bring it up, they might say something about it. But usually it's just people who've had braces themselves and we kind of talk about it and they sympathize because they've been there. Um, or, you know, like I might tell my friends like, oh, I don't feel good. My braces hurt kind of thing. So they know. But like strangers or whoever or acquaintances, people I don't know well. And even my friends will not bring it up unless I do, generally speaking. And then they might ask a couple questions or whatever. But I've never had somebody initiate it with me or be like, oh, you got braces or why do you have braces as an adult? Nobody's ever said anything to me because the truth is I realize nobody cares. Um, I really don't think that's anything to worry about. Okay, my second to last thing is your brackets cut in your mouth. I heard about this, so I expected them to cut up my mouth and really hurt. And I got really lucky in the fact that for the most part, they hardly did that at all. Um, I've needed to use wax a couple times, but very little actually. And I got really lucky in the fact that I hardly needed it. And that part was way, way better than I expected. And once you learn the right way to use wax, it's really easy and actually will stick. I can show you, make a video on how to use it correctly if you guys want. Um, okay, this is the last thing is molar bands. I don't know why I didn't think about this with braces, but you just don't. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting to get molar bands. Um, if you don't know what they are, they're exactly what they sound like. It's a metal band that goes around your molars in the back. Um, I only have them on the top, thankfully not the bottom, but they hurt so bad going on. And even once you have them on, you think you just get used to them and you do, but like, they're not comfortable. I really wish I had them off. Um, it took a long time to learn how to clean them. I couldn't floss my teeth back there for a while because there was no room. And you can taste the metal in your mouth too and it doesn't taste good. I mean, like, it just, oh, I don't like them at all. But yeah, they suck, but you do get used to them and then they're not quite as bad. 
And that about wraps up my list of things I did not expect with braces. Now, your list may be very different if you get braces or if you've had them in the past. Um, and, you know, everyone's experience is different. And just remember that if you are getting braces and you're nervous, this shouldn't be, like, I don't want this to be a turnoff. They are worth the results. It just sometimes, some things suck. Um, but you have to remember it's only for so long. And then you're going to have a really beautiful smile at the end. 